Am I the only one that like looks at American flags and I'm just like, ugh, ugh. Like someone just came on the beach with American flag chair. And they're giving me a very like Trumpy vibe. <laughs> I don't think American flag is like very Trumpy now, and I'm just like, I can't, I, I just cannot with any of it. <laughs> Alright guys, so it's been a while since we've talked about a woke teacher <laughs> doing something stupid and exposing themselves uh, because maybe they've learned their lesson. But some teachers haven't caught on and learned their lesson as we have yet again another teacher forcing woke propaganda down kids' throats. And this time we have to uh, highlight a teacher from Wisconsin whom decided that it was a good idea to force first graders to pledge allegiance to the Pan-African flag, a black nationalist symbol. Take a look. And one. Face up. On the count of three. One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the Afro-American people. Under God, I will protect freedom. Yeah. Seek peace, honor our ancestors, and encourage and support the development and prosperity of people of African descent. You may be seated. Wow. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. Made the kids raise the communist fist and everything. Uh, but before I get into my commentary on this, I, I just want to remind you guys that this teacher... Uh, probably has not been paying attention to the news as there was a, another teacher who got fired recently for doing something very similar uh except that time it was with the pride flag okay so during third period we have announcements and they do the pledge of allegiance i always tell my class stand if you feel like it don't stand if you feel like it say the words if you want don't have to say the words so my class decided to stand but not say the words totally fine Except for the fact that my room does not have a flag. It used to be there, but I took it down during COVID because it made me uncomfortable. And um, I packed it away and I don't know where, and I haven't found it yet. <laughs> but my kid today goes, hey, um, it's kind of weird that we just stand and then, you know, we say it to nothing. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, I got to find it. Like I'm working on it. I got you. <laughs> In the meantime, I tell this kid, we do have a flag in the class that you can pledge your allegiance to. And he like looks around and he goes, oh, that one? <laughs> yeah, so that teacher got fired. And this teacher is more than likely probably going to face the same fate because she made the same stupid mistake that all these teachers make, all these woke teachers make by recording herself doing something that she knows she's not supposed to be doing in class, imposing her woke political ideology on kids, okay? And again, you always got to ask, when it comes to the whole pan-African black nationalist thing, right? She's making students uh, pledge allegiance to that. You always have to ask, um, imagine if that was a white teacher, okay, who made the students pledge allegiance to the Confederate flag. Um, I don't think anybody would stand for this. I, I actually think that that would be a national news story, right? I think you would actually hear about that on CNN, on MSNBC, on all the mainstream liberal media outlets because they would be saying we have white supremacists teaching kids in school, right? However, when you have, um, you know, teachers that are grooming kids and that are making them pledge allegiance to, you know, black nationalist flags, silence, right? They have nothing to say about it. It is a right-wing conspiracy that it is happening in schools. And if you question it, <laughs> then you are a racist, sexist, homophobic bigot, right? That's just kind of how it goes. But again, I cannot imagine in what situation would this be appropriate? Why in the heck are you having students pledge allegiance to a pan-Africanism flag? I, I, I don't understand. I, I don't get it. I mean, even again, as a black person, uh, I've never pledged allegiance to that flag. I've never owned that flag, right? I own an American flag, but I don't own that flag, right? Which goes to show you how, you know, th there are certain groups of people that, that want to push stuff on, you know, black people to try to separate them from uh, America, right? But at the same time, they're complaining about how 
they're not accepted. But every time you look, they're trying to separate themselves from everybody else. I'm like, okay, well, if you want to be accepted, why don't you just fly the American flag? Right? Why are you flying the pride flag or the BLM flag or the Pan-African flag? Fly the American flag, right? You know, people doing the civil rights movement, you know, uh, black folks that actually went through real racism and oppression, uh, they were smart enough to fight the racism and oppression by saying, hey, guys, we're just like you. Look, we're flying the American flag, right? They weren't out here flying the Pan-African flag, the pride flag, the BLM flag. They were flying the American flag. But nowadays, the woke revolutionaries say that the American flag is a flag of white supremacy, right? It's white supremacy. And that's why they don't want to fly it. But they're totally okay with flying the flags of black supremacy and LGBTQ supremacy, right? That type of supremacy is fine. Okay, but white supremacy is not. Again, when these people do this stuff, I think they should ask themselves in their head, okay? Would I be okay if white people did this, right? If white people did this or said something that I'm about to say, would I be okay with it? If the answer is no, then you probably shouldn't do it. Again, I, I, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Why is it that these teachers, these people are so obsessed with the idea of trying to replace the American flag? But again, these same people say, well, I don't feel accepted. I don't feel included. When the American flag, by definition, is inclusive of everybody. These other flags, by definition, are exclusionary of everybody. But uh, we live in a cuckoo for Cocoa Puff society where apparently the BLM flag, <laughs> the uh, Pan-African flag, the Pride flag, all those flags, they're inclusive. The American flag is, is exclusionary, right? I I don't get it, right? I simply don't understand it. We live in upside down world. We really do. We have some cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs people in the school, and unfortunately, too many of those cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs people have infiltrated our education system. And that's how you get videos like this, okay? Again, um, it was already stupid to have kids pledge allegiance to that flag. That was bad enough as it is, but then you're going to record it and post it on the internet, right? Again, you're not smart enough to be a teacher if that's what you're going to do. Any teacher that decides to post them doing something like this on the internet is simply not smart enough to be a teacher. You you just fail the common sense test, right? You fail the common sense test, okay? Because any teacher with even a small grain of common sense would probably say, you know what? If I'm going to try to indoctrinate my kids, I'm not going to record it and post it on the internet for people to see. So people won't complain about it and I can keep my job, right? Again, a lot of these people, they, they do it for attention, right? That's why you see it. The narcissism is too much, right? They, they can't overcome their own narcissism to keep their own job, right? And to continue the indoctrination. They expose themselves so that they get fired and then they can't indoctrinate anymore. And then they want to boohoo cry and complain and cry foul because, you know, they can no longer continue their woke indoctrination when the only reason they got caught is because they decided they wanted to post it on the internet, right? Again, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So, hey, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.